Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us once again as we're getting ready for the second game. We are going to be taking a deep dive into the Diamond Plus division as we have the Bay Ridge Blazers from Bay Ridge Secondary School going against the Black Panthers hailing from the Osgood Township High School. Matthias, lay it out for me. Yeah, Osgood has had some great games already. I'm excited to see their Diamond Plus division, which consists of Plop, 5, 4, 8, Kiwi, 0, 1, Eden 0445. Those are the players on the side of the Black Panthers. As for the Bay Ridge Blazers, we have mm -hmm. Pronged 05, Happy Cappy 5, and Hockey Shark 63, and Big Grant as the substitute. Big grand. <laughs> what a very grand and big name indeed. But that is the next game that we're going to have coming up. In the game, there are some account issues, so we're going to have some players barring some accounts. But rest assured, it's these players that are going to be on the field demonstrating their talent for us. But speaking of talent, speaking of demonstrating it for us, Matthias, we had some pretty excellent games just before this one. You want to take us down memory lane. Do you remember what was going on in those previous ones? Of course. It was very close to first game between Osgood and the other team there and that one ended up I believe two to one two one yes Panthers came up two to one um I believe that Billy Billy Gamers they were down 0-2 against the Panthers but they really recovered and they were able to kind of rekindle their uh defense and strengthen themselves to maintain a strong offensive pressure against the Panthers that they weren't able to resolve fast enough but ladies and gentlemen as we are getting ready to head into this next game between the Black Panthers and the Bay Ridge Blazers we still have so much more action to get underway and here we are already at the kickoff. It looks like Bay Ridge already putting the pressure on the Black Panthers. They're going to answer right back here. Just putting it back for the You to see a lot more aggression here from these teams than the last game. You can tell that they are just going in here quick. They're already warmed up. Things are be very explosive. Very explosive. And, and I, speaking of explosive, I almost thought we were about to see a demo coming out here as the Blazers, they're trying to maintain control over towards the center and the left side. But as it's going to get cleared out now, that's going to allow a great reset opportunity, but it's going to get intercepted right now in the corner. The fight's still going. Bay Ridge Blazers, they are actually doing a great job of just controlling this ball and preventing it from going too far out of their comfort zone. They are trying to make sure they can go in, and they actually turned that into an opportunity to get a goal. Just like I was saying, they kept it exactly where they wanted it to, and eventually the defense was not ready to handle that shot, and it's going to go the way of the Ridge Blazers. Yeah, starting off strong, you know, and these teams are so evenly matched, getting any points on the board matters so now Bay Ridge going to get another point on the board, just starting off very, very aggressive, very quickly. It looks like Panthers looking to answer this up with a three commit, Ooh. and for good reason, they get a goal off the kickoff. Yeah, you can see on their faces the focus and intent, and you can also see, you know, pat yourself on the back for an excellent goal that you get there, but I'm sure they know that their work is far from done. There's still three minutes, 45 seconds on the clock, and this is only game one, so you can't get to the place yet. You still have a lot of work to do, and as you can see, they're still doing it as the Black Panthers now seem to be uh, being reinvigorated. I feel like they're coming back now with a lot more more energy, a lot more offensive pressure. They're trying to get their own goal now. I feel like once you're down a couple of goals, you start to care a little bit less about going down even more and more caring about just getting at least one on the board here. And I think it's working out for the Panthers right now. As you can see, they're trying to get over into the center, but as their defense over on Bainbridge Blazers is also recuperating, they aren't going to have an easy time doing that. But the defense from Bay Ridge is just absolutely dead about And their aggression as well as their tune up for another goal. The defense from the Panthers is there to answer as well. A nice clear to put some pressure on the Panthers. Looks like Bay Ridge. 
putting these long range shots, forcing Panthers to play much more defensively than they would probably like to. So we we'll to try and get this goal soon. Right now, Bayridge not letting up on the gas, continuing to just hammer this ball into their net every single chance they get. The defense from the Black Panthers is not letting it through just yet. Now there's an opening for the Black Panthers to go for a goal, but a nice clear from Bayridge keeps things interesting. Very interesting indeed. Underneath all the mystery and intrigue, there, lay, there lies a layer of fire that keeps both of these teams burning. And just before the fire gets extinguished, we have Bayridge making a very good save and another one to follow it up. Right now, getting taken to the corner. They're trying to find the shot, but it's not a great angle. They're gonna have to try their luck once again after they take it out of their side of the field. It's gonna get cleared out after a demo goes through two on the Eden, but the center is open, and that means a shot's gonna get let loose. Happy Cappy takes a shot, but it's not gonna get found, but a teammate's there to cement it. They're up 3-0, and they're doing an excellent job of maintaining that pressure. A beautiful job at continuing to maintain a strong lead here. And Bayridge is just so in tune with their team synergy right now. They have some amazing tactics at play. Amazing tactics indeed. So much work to try to just make sure they are always in an advantageous position. It's not easy to control the ball itself, but more so they're even controlling the enemy players by manipulating the ball to be in positions to get them in positions that they want them to be. Just like that, they have the ball going off to the right. That forces the players to go off to the right, which means they have to get out of the net. They're able to take the shot. It wasn't going to go in, but that's the kind of strategy, that's the kind of gameplay that will elevate you to the next level. Black Panthers here. Clear the ball one minute remaining. They need to close this three goal gap and quick. There's going to be a time to get goals. The time is now. With the defense from Bay Ridge, it's going to be a tough ask. The one and try and lead the charge on through, get another goal, secure their victory even further. Right now, Black Panthers looking to try and keep themselves in this. You know, at least want to start off a goal to try and get this momentum going. Plop, though, looking to put the nail in the coffin here, trying to get that last final goal. With 30 seconds left on the clock. It is very, very close to being over for the Black Panthers, unless they can find some miracle goals very soon. Absolutely, 15 seconds on the clock. It'd be a miracle if the Black Panthers would be able to find three goals, let alone four within this time frame. But as the time ticks onward, it's looking more and more certain that the Bayridge Blazers are going to be able to take they secure game one with a 3-0 lead. But that game was very, very competitive in the first half. It just seemed like Bayridge really figured out a strategy that worked against the Panthers. But now, going forward in the second game, I'm excited to see how the Panthers react. Yeah, right now it seems the reaction is to just stay level-headed and make sure that they don't try to... That you don't want to try to fix things too much because that often leads to misconfigurations and chaos. When you face a loss, when you face any kind of hardship, it's very important to understand what you can and can't control. And right now, I feel like that team just is doing their best to make sure they are trying to stay on the same page and they're trying to communicate with each other. But ultimately, if that game was pretty dominant over for the side of Bay Ridge. Uh, I curious to know what do you think they kind of did well to give them that edge in that first game i think they did a lot well they just had a little bit more team synergy they were a little bit better at passing the ball between each other getting the setups going the way they want i think honestly in terms of uh, where panthers can improve not all too much they just need to play a little bit more confident i think i think they had a little bit of a mental hit there but they seem not totally, you know, out of whack. Just, you know, the pressure's on, especially your first to get your second game back. You want to try and continue to get those wins. But now, I think, after that first game, the pressure should wane a little bit more, and we should be having a very interesting second bout. Absolutely. I think one thing that the Bay Ridge definitely did better, and like we said, is just their team coordination. Um, but like I was mentioning, in the game as well, the way that they've been controlling the ball and controlling the field allows them to manipulate 
not just the ball, like I said, but their opponents as well. When they try to play aggressively, they do so in a way that forces the net to get open. Otherwise, the offense gets too overwhelming, so you're forced to send a guy out to try to alleviate it. But once again, that just makes more openings for them, and they also do a great job at capitalizing on them. So, if Black Panthers can try to avoid playing into their hands, I think they'll have a lot of success being able to be able to replicate their own strategies and uh, really take the game's control into their own hands. But as we get into game two here with four minutes, 20 seconds remaining, the players are scrambling now for control. As you can see, a shot from the ceiling. It's almost going to get something there, but not quite. There's going to be no follow-up block there to bounce that one off and away towards an opportunity for their team. And now you can see the shot going towards the corner, but no follow-up just yet. Plot is there on the back line as well as one of their teammates to make sure that things don't get too complacent over for their team. Black Panther still has a lot of work to do, but with wow. that shot, it's going to get a little bit easier, and you can see that energy coming out of their team. Yeah, the Black Panthers getting a very clean dunk all together there. Wait, is that not the Bay Ridge? Yeah, the Bay Ridge getting... Wait, is there a bug on the screen? No. No, I'm pretty sure Black Panthers was the one that took that shot. I believe you are correct. <laughs> and now it looks like the Black Panthers are trying to get this one here. The shot in here. It's going to be a very, very difficult plot to control the ball right now. Go for a shot on the goal. Can't forget it though. The kids Ooh. cleared up, but a clean shot from Eden secures the Black Panthers a second goal. And just like that, you can see the life breathe back into this team. Like I said, you just have to make sure you're maintaining control over what you have control over. One of those things is definitely your mentality. Even if you go down a game, it's important to stay together as a team, as a unit, and you don't let it get to you too much. And that's exactly what this team is doing. And it seems to be paying off for them as they're able to wow. even right off the kickoff, find a third. And it seems that this team is going absolutely bonkers right now. And they are doing a complete 180 from that first game. That's how you want to kick off your second game. They shook off the pressure and they are locked in here. Starting off with a three lead just two minutes in is absolutely impressive indeed. Now it looks like Bay Ridge going to try and answer right here going for a triple commit. I don't know how well that's going to work out here as the pressure from Bay Ridge is just absolutely insurmountable right now. The Black Panthers still continue to look for these amazing shots on the goal. The defense, though, clear the ball, and they managed to do so. Right now it's in this limbo going back and forth. Trying to take control here, take a nice shot on the goal, gets cleared out once again by the Black Panthers. This is just so back and forth right now. I don't know who's going to take this one, but now it is on the side of Bay Ridge to try and take oh, it. They got a nice bounce up there. It doesn't quite go towards the goal, but it's going to be a nice setup. They clear it in the corner and position it back in front. Can someone get control of the ball here? Yes, someone will. It's not going to be enough. It's going to continue to just keep going in on Bay Ridge. They need to try and clear this in quick. Finally, they are able to get it out of their side of the field, but Bay Ridge was doing such a great job at preventing it from even leaving that side of the field. Now, the pressure is mounting. They're trying to find a shot themselves here, but it is still quite the struggle. It looks to be the case that the Black Panthers have they found maybe their match, but not quite yet, as the defense is still strong from the plot, getting a nice save. The Bay Ridge Blazers almost getting that shot in, and it rolls. There is nobody there to save it, nobody there to get that one protected. And that's going to be at least one now on the board for the Bay Ridge Blazers. They're starting to lock in here. They could potentially answer. They still have almost two minutes to answer two goals. That's a lot of time to make this one equal. But now it's still going to be a very tough path to tread as the Black Panthers still continue to try and hammer in goals. I mean, look at that. Bay Ridge, or Black Panthers getting another beautiful goal, securing their three-goal lead once again. Three-goal lead. 
indeed seems to be the theme for this game. Even the last one, it wasn't 3 0, it was 2 0. And that just seems to be the natural equilibrium that these teams are comfortable with. If if there's a 3 0 lead eat on any side, these teams are comfortable and they're gonna try their best to maintain the a minute and 30 seconds remaining. Who knows whether or not that's gonna be maintained for long as we already see a long field shot and it's gonna get followed up once wow. again. Take everything I just said and throw it out the window because now we have a four goal lead in this game for the Black Panthers. Beautiful goal and now a four goal lead. Just a few more and they could even seal the deal for this match. But I think Bay Ridge is definitely going to keep this one for the first game here. So we're going to try and tie this one up. But four goals in a minute 20 is going to be a very tough cap to close. See, Plop gets a nice shot on goal. Doesn't quite go in just yet. Eden is still hammering away with the rest of the Panthers trying to keep up the pressure. Found their prey, and now it's time for the Panthers to strike. There is the setup going for the bounce back. Gonna go for a setup once again. One minute remaining, and Bay Ridge needs to find something. And quick time is starting to run out. They've done so well in the first game. We need to try and keep this one out with Black Panthers having a four goal lead on them. They need to get a goal in this 10 seconds. And now they got the first one. This is the first step of a thousand miles as they have only three more goal gaps to close. It is, it is. It is a big gap, but honestly, again, I, I always say this, and I, I learned this to be more and more true the more Rocket League I watch. Anything can happen in that amount of time. 40 seconds, realistically, is not a short period, especially when you're seeing things like kickoff goals that the Black Panthers were able to achieve, and a goal almost scored there for Bay Ridge. So, with 30 seconds remaining, the gap is getting shorter for them to be able to get that many goals, but it's still definitely far from impossible. Possible. Right now, Black Panthers are doing the best to control the ball. They don't even necessarily need to go for their own now. They just need to make sure that they're keeping it completely contained over on the Bay Ridge side of the field. That's exactly what they're doing. They're making it impossible to leave. Bay Ridge will have to find a complete escape opportunity, let alone with the ball. They can barely even escape with their cars right now without getting risking, getting demoed. But with three seconds remaining, it seems that the Black Panthers have guaranteed this game two to go their way. There it is, game two, done and dusted for the Black Panthers. And what an absolute insane showing after that first game. Things were looking the best for them, but they managed to lock in for the second game and absolutely wow everybody there. Yeah, wowed indeed. I, I think I'm pretty comfortable to say that I'm wowed because <laughs> if after that first game, Matthias, you told me that we'd see Black Panthers uh, getting a victory, let alone with like a three to four goal lead, I would be pretty shocked. And I am pretty shocked. And we just witnessed that. So pretty interesting game nonetheless. And now this is the first time going into our third game that both teams have a point. So now exactly. this is going to be the big tiebreaker game. And I have no idea which way this is going to go. I really don't either. It's especially, again, of course, Black Panthers coming with a huge surprise from that first game to win, even win the second one. But even so, Bay Ridge was still demonstrating that they still had a lot of fight in them um, themselves. So, oh, it's gonna go right underneath him, but Bay Ridge able to save that one from the clutches of the feet, but Black Panthers off of the follow-up of the save, there was no clear. So it's still gonna stay on their side of the field. And that's gonna give an opportunity for Plop to find a shot as they're retreating back to their side. Something that they weren't quite expecting, but it was a possibility at all points there. Lots of possibilities here. Black Panthers are starting off with the first goal. Another strong start for them. Bayridge, though, needs to try and close this gap as soon as they can. They don't want to let Black Panthers stretch into a large goal lead like they did before. But it looks like Black Panthers are already keeping up a lot of pressure already. Bayridge in control of the ball, getting a nice air carry there. Going to try and go for a setup, but once again, Black Panthers very good at clearing and the demo to boot. Double demo, looking for the triple demo, just barely saved his own lust skin there as Plop <laughs> gets out. Yeah, barely saving the paint off this chassis. And it's in the orange corner at the moment, and there's a swarm of cars trying to find the control of it. A shot was made, but it was eventually missed as now Plop trying to get the clear off the wall. 
barely missed that as well. And a half elevation is going to be found off of that from Bainbridge. They're maintaining the pressure. They're not letting it get cleared out. And they're taking continuous shots. This is exactly what you need to do to make any team crack underneath the pressure. And even the best teams in the world will eventually fall to this strategy here. And again, taking it away, not letting it clear. Eventually, it's going to get stolen out. That's going to be a little bit of breathing room now for Bay Ridge, but it's going to go right back over to the Black Panther side as they're trying to get some shots of their own. One's going to get made, almost two, but an interception is going to be found. And now coming up the wall, trying to center it, prevent it from going back to their side. It seems that Bay Ridge, they had enough of the offense and they're trying to go for it themselves, but a shot's going to get intercepted once again off the post, almost going from one side of the field into the net of the other. They're going to lose the 50 both to each other there. Nobody coming out of top in that exchange and with some bumps and bruises coming out of that exchange there that both teams are still going to be vying for control with 250 remaining in this game one goal lead this is uncharacteristic for both teams it seems that they found each other out and now we're truly getting close to a stalemate of source but wow. as i say it it's going to get broken as the black panthers find an opportunity to get a goal and they execute it perfectly look at them rolling through the air like that as a team off of the initial pass coming from the clear so realistically that was just a perfect setup for all three yeah beautiful setup all around from the black panthers but now looking at the bay ridge blazers this gap is not impossible to close you still have three minutes left in the game it's a good amount of time to get these goals but you need to start playing aggressively you don't want to leave that net wide open because the black panthers do not let up on their aggression either they like to keep on hammering that net with shot after shot after shot and let me just look at that oh. they get a nice shot through the corner of baywich blazers sneaking that one in there 222 remaining this could be foreshadowing that we're gonna have a 2-2 tie for a while i'm not sure but with bay ridge blazers getting that goal we are one step closer to that reality is now off the kickoff it's gonna go oh a demo a oh, kickoff a shot and just like i said we're now tied two to two off the kickoff a demo is gonna be what's gonna make that possible here it's a shot but it was never mind it was him that got demoed and that turned into a goal for them regardless a kickoff goal you love to see them but now the pressure's on for both teams this is looking to be a very exciting third match here folks there's only two minutes remaining it is two to two everything's on the line here want to try and get as many points as he can and it looks like Bay Ridge Blazers after being in the catch-up position they finally boosted into the lead here with so three back-to-back-to-back -back -to -back goals yeah that tie was not one that lasted for long unfortunately my prediction fell through but with that broken now the pressure is on for one of these teams at least the Black Panthers now have to fight for control and do their best now to try to maintain that offensive pressure, but Bay Ridge Blazers have not let up on their own. In fact, they're trying to make this 4-2 very quickly, but with there's equal exchange in all things. You give up your defense in exchange for a strong offense, and it seems the Black Panthers want to capitalize on that. Getting interception, preventing that from going to their side now. It seems Black Panthers trying to set up a goal, but Bay Ridge in the corner is trying to send it out. Going to miss that shot. I think that was intentional, in fact, just to bait out the reaction and that's going to almost be a shot coming out but eventually is going to get stolen away but Bay Ridge they're almost going to be able to take this over to the Black Panther side but it's going to get cleared out pretty quick but now and an open net can someone get there in time yes we have Eden there to get that interception prevent a goal from coming through a minute is remaining can the Black Panthers find something here after that get that clear after they take it over to blue side it's going to be a demo to prevent it from going any further but with still a strong lead in the pressure side of things the black panthers still have an opportunity to make something work here they just have to keep fighting these clears the uh, plop is going to be able to take it out but no it's going to get stolen right out from under him side swept now trying to recover it trying to prevent it from going in but a shot's going to get taken thankfully eden's there with the excellent save it's not leaving the orange side even though it's exactly what black panthers need 30 
seconds are remaining. Can they find an opportunity in time? Yeah, 30 seconds remain for both teams. Black Panthers still within that gap, closing distance, just one goal away. I mean, look at that. It's hanging at the doorstep of the Bay Ridge Blazers. They're ready to answer the door here. There it is. They're sending it in, but no, it's going to be answered by a goal save. Instead, with 10 seconds left on the clock, will Black Panthers be able to tie this one out and send us to our first oh overtime? My. And no, it's going to be Bay Ridge Blazers securing a two-goal lead with five seconds remaining. An excellent game all around, and I've been going on and on about how anything's possible in a short amount of time, but I think we can both agree that this is going to be going the way of Bay Ridge. With only five seconds remaining, there's not a lot of room to get much done. However, I gotta say, Matthias, that was one hell of a game. That was one game indeed. I am so proud to be able to cast that one. That was beautiful gameplay all around. Absolutely. And I'm just excited to look see at the even more. Yeah, look at the sportsmanship all around. No hard feelings. Everyone's just here to have fun and play some Rocket League. And of course, win the trophy. Of, <laughs> of course. Of course, the competition is a great part of all things here, but it is important to maintain a level of sportsmanship, camaraderie, and of course, a spirit of good fun. Some class. But still, <laughs> you want to win. Both of these teams coming out with at least one point in this series so far. It was hard fought. It was a strong battle indeed. And it's going to be Bay Ridge coming out on top with two points over um, the Black Panthers. One. Yeah, that was just a very exciting game back and forth. In that first game, I was a little bit nervous that it was going to be one side, but the Panthers really brought their A game in that second game. They locked in. And got a beautiful lead there, but then going to that second one was very back and forth, very exciting. And it seemed one sided in the beginning there as well, but a quick answer once again from Bay Ridge. What, what a match. Yeah, absolutely. It was an incredible game indeed. But, you know, it is in the past now. We got to look towards the future. And I believe for the next game that we're going to have coming up, it is also in the Diamond Plus division. So the high rank action is not going to end just yet. But before we take a quick break to get ready for that next game, Matthias... Once again, what are you excited for most? I'm excited to see more demos. We saw oh, that yeah. become more of a factor at the end of that game, and I think that really started to change things. We saw some more in that second game, a lot of demos. I think we saw a double demo as well mm -hmm. in one clean sweep. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of those. Those are always so fun. Absolutely. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get ready for that next game. We'll see you all very soon after a short break.